Hey beauties, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a long-awaited review of Sugar Pill Cosmetics. Many of you guys have been messaging me on YouTube saying, Tasha, have you tried Sugar Pill? Have you seen Sugar Pill? When are you going to try Sugar Pill? And so for all of you guys with those requests, this video is for you. So if you'd like to know my thoughts on some of the videos I received from the lovely Amy from Sugar Pill Cosmetics, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so welcome back. If you're back, you wanna find out more about Sugar Pill Cosmetics, right? Well, I know I did. You know, I was exposed to Sugar Pill Cosmetics here on YouTube, and I am subscribed to Makeup Doll, um, Goldie Starling, who else? Um, Goss Makeup Artist, and Coco Femme. And I've been watching a lot of the videos out, and I've been seeing a lot about Sugar Pill. I've also seen Sugar Pill um, by uh, Petri Lute as well. And looking at the product, I was very amazed as far as how the product went on, just on camera, how pigmented the product was. And um, two things piqued my interest even more. I first saw a video by Goss Makeup Artist, hi, <laughs> and um, he did a review on the product and he had mentioned that the products were wonderful and how great they would be on women of color and um, how pigmented they would show up and I was like, hmm. Hmm, let me keep thinking. And then I saw my girl Coco Film. Hey girl, how you doing? I saw her video and she did some swatches of some of their loose powders and other products. And after seeing those swatches, I was like, okay. And then also, after I got lots of requests from you guys, like Tasha, have you tried it? What do you think? When are you gonna try it? When are you gonna do some videos using Sugar Pill? I decided to contact Sugar Pill Cosmetics and um, talk with Amy and wanted to know if she'd be so kind enough for me to try some of her products for you guys. So she was so kind enough to send me some products I'm gonna share with you today. Amy, thank you so much. I am so excited and um, as you can tell, I'm very excited. But um, you guys are gonna be so um, impressed with the products I'm gonna show you today. Now, if you're not familiar with Sugar Pill Cosmetics, you can find Sugar Pill Cosmetics online. And I brought my little handy dandy purple computer. <laughs> and um, you can go to sugarpillshop.com and it'll get you to Sugar Pill Cosmetics. Um, there you can find out what she carries. It mainly is um, a line of um, pressed shadows, quads, and um, loose um, shadows. Can't talk. But. Um, Oh my gosh, when I read about this line, I was very impressed because she uh, herself was in the industry. She had her own clothing line and um, she worked with lots of theatrical performers and drag queens and she saw that there was a big request for bright pigmented colors for um, people she worked with. So she decided to start developing Sugar Pill Cosmetics back, I believe, in 2005. And um, back in 2010, she launched out this line. And let me tell you, I am very impressed. Now, I'm not just saying that because I got the products from Sugar Pill. I'm just impressed with the packaging from these products. Um, for a new startup makeup line, I thought she put I felt she put lots of thought into her branding and her imaging of her products. So that's one thing that made me very impressed when I received my product. Um, and let me just show you the packaging. Um, the first thing she sent me was the um, Burning Heart Quad. And this is just the box, okay? There's a lot of thought that went into her packaging as far as her branding, her image. Is this supposed to be you, Amy Shrinkle? <laughs> so cute. Um, but you can tell about her line. just tells its story. Everything's very bright, vivid, and fun and playful. And then I like the fact that um, on here, she's a kitten. But it shows you that her line is cruelty free. So that means they don't do anything tested on animal, which I know a lot of you guys are looking for vegan friendly product that you can use in your makeup collections or makeup kits. The other thing is that I love that she tells a story about her product, what's in it, and then all the ingredients. So I gave her like A plus for packaging, you guys. Um, wonderful product. And same with her single press powders, um, press shadows. Packaging is wonderful. I took everything out so we can play. Very wonderful packaging. And the same thing along for her loose chromalush shadows. Packaging is A+. Plus. I mean, just lots of thought. Love it. Tells you what it is, what's inside, how much, and all that fun stuff. Now, what I received are four chromalus loose shadows and the first shade I received is called absinthe and this is a very beautiful uh, sparkly green I also received 
uh, this one's called Royal Sugar, and I can't wait to do a video on this one. Look at how beautiful Royal Sugar is. I mean, just gorgeous, sparkly, and shimmery. I hope the camera picks that up. I also received Tiara. This is going to be a gorgeous one, too, you guys. I know you guys love shimmer and sparkle, especially when you're doing your fun, dramatic looks or just fun going out looks. And then the last loose pigment I received was Goldilux, which I do have on right now. And there will be a video, if you haven't seen it already, will be up with this color. But look how gorgeous this gold is. It's just beautiful and pigmented. But let's begin swatching. What I'm doing right now is um, looking at the website and just to give you guys some pricing information. For her loose eyeshadows, you're gonna spend $12 per jar. And this is a lot of product for each jar. Each jar, um, it's the net weight is five grams, but it has 0.18 uh, ounces of product in the jar, which is pretty nice. I mean, think about like your loose pigments or just your loose shadows you purchase from other brands. The price point is very, um, very obtainable. Because I've purchased loose shadows from $13 and you get very little all the way up to $19. So this is a very great price for what you get. Now, as far as the swatching, let me break out my favorite primer potion from Urban Decay. And um, we'll talk about the swatches. And I'll swatch my arm for you ladies and gentlemen. Okay, my hands are swatched and are, it is primed and ready to go. The first shade I'm going to show you is Absinthe again. And let's begin to swatch it. Okay. Look at that. That is just one swipe of shadow. It's very pigmented, gorgeous um, shine to it. And when you play with it, it's very blendable. That's one thing I like to play with is um, the ability of the shadow to blend. But that is very blendable eyeshadow there. But that's absent. Now let's swatch Royal Sugar. Look at that blue. That is freaking fantastic. Sorry, you guys, but look at that. And that's with the primer on. Just imagine if you mix it with a mixing medium, and this blends beautifully too. But imagine if you use a mixing medium with that. That is going to be freaking phenomenal. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the freaking, but um, that's Royal Sugar. Now let's play with Miss Tierra. It's called Tierra, but I just called it Miss Tierra. This is a beautiful uh, silver. Look at how pretty she is. Let me grab just a little bit more because I didn't grab a generous amount like I did with the others. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That would be a pretty um, color to do for like a prom smoky eye with a little bit of silver on the lid and then a little bit of black in the crease for a sultry look for prom. So if you guys would like to see that, click thumbs up. Leave your comment below if you'd like for me to create a prom video using some of these colors. Now the last color is called Goldilocks. Yeah, Goldilocks. And I have it on my lid area. And this is what this shade looks like. Look at that, you guys. I Like I said, these are just dry on top of primer. But look how pigmented those loose shadows are. And again, those loose shadows are going to run $12 per um, jar. And I believe on her site, I'm just looking at right now, but she has over, she carries over, I'm just looking at the website, she carries over 17 different shades in the loose shadows. So if you're looking for that and want to have a, a big variety of colors, definitely check out her website for colors that you might like. And if you have Sugar Pill Cosmetics loose shadows, let me know what your favorites are. It might become my favorite too, just by leaving your comment below. Now the next thing I would like to show are the um, press shadows that I received from Sugar Pill. Okay, let me prime my hand again. <laughs> and let's get ready to play with some of these matte shadows, okay? Now the press shadows she sent me, um, I really only wanted to try one because they all look gorgeous, but I always like to find the blackest black ever when it comes to matte shadows. And um, this is what it looks like. Now, each um, press shadow, she offers a shade, nine shades, and beautiful bright shades, let me tell you. Uh, the one I picked up is called Bulletproof, and it's a matte black. 
And let me tell you how much product you get in this little container. The net weight is four grams, but you get 0.14 ounces of product. I mean, this looks like it's almost as much as like my Makeup Forever um, eyeshadows. It's definitely a lot more than what my MAC shadows I get in the pan there, but look at that. And um, let me swatch this for you too. This is the matte black called Bulletproof, and look how black that is. Again, there's no mixing medium or anything on my hand, but that's a very matte black shadow that I think is just absolutely gorgeous. It's great for adding definition in your crease areas or just definition to any shadow that you want to darken up. But I always recommend a matte black shadow and definitely go check this out. And these sell for $12 a piece, which is awesome because you can spend $14 and up between MAC and um. Uh, with other loose makeup forever it costs you about $19 per pan so this is a great value great price for the product and again the packaging is just awesome wonderful packaging and the final product that I receive is the sugar pill addicted to pretty I love it of course we're addicted to pretty but this is the pressed eyeshadow palette it's called burning heart now the palettes will run you $34 for per palette and she offers two this is the burning heart and then she has the sweetheart palette I picked this one up because the other one's a little bit more pastel -y colors and it might be next on my list, who knows. But I just love, I've always been looking for these colors for brights. A bright yellow, this one's called Butter Cupcake, uh, this one's Flame Point, this one's called Love Plus and Poison Plum. But these are very pigmented, very intense and just easy to work with and blend. Let me swatch these shades for you as well. This is Butter Cupcake. Beautiful. Just imagine if you put like a base underneath there, how popping that would be. Flame point. Look at that orange. Hmm, nice Halloween combo. <laughs> this one's Love Plus. And last but not least, Poison Plum. But look at how rich those colors are. They're very pigmented. I love each and every one of them. Um, I think they blend very easily as well. So if you're looking for some matte shadows that are bright and blend wonderfully, I would definitely recommend this palette if you're looking for these colors like I was too. But um, overall, I am very impressed with the product, with the packaging. With the price point too, they're not extremely expensive, but they give the high quality or your high end products a run for their money. So if you're definitely looking for some brights, especially for going out or for special event, or you're just that one person, you can wear that anywhere, anyhow, or where you go with your business, I would definitely check out sugarpillshop.com. Wonderful cosmetic line, wonderful owner of the company, and I do hope that I can make it to IMAT so I can meet you because you're a sweet person and it shines just through your website and through your videos. But anyway, you guys, I hope you found this review informative for you and if you like to see up close swatches I will definitely put a rundown of pictures swatches and everything on my blog and I'll put the link below which is beautychameleon.com and um, you, if you have any questions too let me know I'll leave your comments below or just make some comments on my blog and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but you all thank you so much for watching I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you all in the next video bye